Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're actually going back over to Morrison's. Pick this up from Morrison's. Three quid I think it was for the beer. I don't think it was part of any deals. Well if it was I didn't get any bloody deal on it. Uh, and this is Quack. It's a cracking beer. Um, in, if that's how you pronounce it obviously. Um, it's a Power Pow Quack. It's an amber or an ombre. Uh, 8.4%, a true Belgian original since 1791 even. Spice beer, Cervetza Especiada, Cervetza Extra, Cervetza Temperada, Beera Speciata, Stark Beer. It's a beer anyway. www.tapintoyourbeer.com Don't know why that's on there. Brow Ridge Bostiles, Kirkstraat 96, 9255, Buggenhart, distributed in the UK by AB InBev. So there you go. So thankfully did not say uh, brewed in the UK, it's distributed. Hopefully that's the case. So... 8.4%, probably one of the best beers in Morrison's, really. Two versions of Morrison's, a craft beer Morrison's and a standard Morrison's. I got this from the standard Morrison's. Uh, both very different Morris Morrison's. So as we can see, it's an amber pour, quite a clear amber pour. Plenty of carbonation, a white head going off. There's a nice, like a bit of a candid aroma on this with a sweetness. Which um, follows on to the taste really, quite a, a bit of candidness on the taste, a bit of sweetness. 8.4%, three quid for, uh, what was it, 330cl bottle. So yeah, that's not a bad size really when we think about it. Um, most people will know I'm going to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival and I've looked at some of the prices of beer and the the government uh, taxation thing is obviously kicking in because a third now let me just Just a question, just to be right. How much in millilitres is a third of beer? When they say a third in pubs, what is it? Two hundred mils. So two hundred mils is a third. So a third for seven quid. Wow. Equates to around about twenty one quid a pint. So this is 330 CLs, 8.4%. This at a beer festival would be seven, probably about seven quid as a third. And that's literally uh, two thirds of what that is, which would, um, you know, put that at quite the high price. So, um, and the government, being greedy bastards, have really uh, ruined it for all of us. I mean, last year I was paying between five fifty, five pound to six pound a third. Now it's seven pound fifty. Anything up to seven pound fifty, and you get to the stage where you think, "Fucking hell!" You know, dare I? Can I really afford to buy for? Can I afford to waste money? 
on a beer that I may or may not like. There's the biggest issue um, with paying lots of money for your beer. Is that's three quid, right? Uh, so that would be equivalent to ten pound fifty in in the terms of what you see in craft beer festivals now. Uh, for the ABV, eight point four percent. It's about ten pound fifty. So for three quid, we'll get the bargain. You know. When you look at it, obviously cask um, is always cheaper. I had this thing the other week at the at the Crown Inn in Beeston. For those who wanted to know the pub, but I didn't say it at the time. Uh, Six pound ten for Black Iris for a three point four percent on keg. And I looked and thought, I am not paying £6.10 for 3.4. No. 5%, 6%, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I'll pay a standard price because uh, it's a good brewery. But not for a 3.4. You're taking the Royal Mick. Um, and that's something I needed to flag up with the with the people at Crown Inn and say, is that what they're selling you the beer for? Because that's disgusting. You know, I know it's on keg. You better off fucking them kegs off. And say, no, nah, I'm not buying nothing up 3.4 on keg. Because it's, you know, people will not drink it. They'll think, no, nah, I'm not drinking that sh You know, I'm not paying that price for the, for whoever brewery it is. There's a sweetness to this. There's a candidness, like I said. 8.4%. Um, oh, it's, it's lovely. You know, I'm getting that ABV. And I love that ABV. Um, I am in a situation now where I've been suffering from severe anxiety and depression. And yet still, I've not been rocking the beer like I would, would have done four years ago. Uh, back in the days of, oh God, those days, um, I was hammering the beer and the spirits and the wine um, through the roof. Uh, I was really, really being quite severe. These days, I'm a better person. Um... And uh, even though I still like a beer, and I will drink beer, and I, I will drink beer that accommodates where I want to be. Um, slight, slightly merry, but certainly not pissing out my face, obviously. And, uh, <sighs> yeah, I'm in a good place with that. Certainly no ex... The drinking is liberated and not excessive, and probably need to do a video about it really and just say but I, 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 I understand that people watch my channel so to say something where I do actually point it out um, words can be used against me if I'm so in some ways you've got to be careful and this is the thing about the internet and putting anything on social media you've got to be so careful because the poisonous elements of the world will scour whatever they can of your social media to have a go against you. And, uh, you know, it's a sad thing, really, because not, not one of us out there has ever said, has ever had a life where we have not said something that we've said that it's totally wrong. Yeah, it happens. It totally happens. By Jove, it's got some kick to it. Um, I'm enjoying this. Um, not a massive fan of Belgian beers. It is what it is, you know. Some people are, some people aren't. Um, on the wall, 
with that side of things. But um, nonetheless, yeah, it's okay. It's going down well. Um, oh. I've got the craft beer festival tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to meeting up with the beer community. Absolutely love the beer community. I love talking beer. Yeah, sad as it seems, and I don't know. Am I sad uh, saying that? You know, talking shite about beer. Um, and, you know, I, I get to un unravel my personality. The sad thing is that for, for months of winter, I'm working on my own and um, no one talking to you, no interaction. So when you do get those moments when you are talking about stuff you love. The people who, who are like-minded, it is, it's like being with family. It really is. Uh, it's like being at the weekends where we're talking to our friends at the weekends. It means so much. Um, for anybody in a job where they, they're not in the greatest of places, that, that, that liberation that you get is stunning. So anyway, Crack or quack, I ain't got a clue. I, I say it, <coughs> there's bound to be a way. Uh, 8.4 percent. Um, I would say this Peroni Doppia Molto La Gudale and Omnipolo's beer are the, are the best beers in Morrison's. Um, would I drink it again? Yes, yes, I would. Out of five, you'll be surprised that. Uh, it's a nice beer, but I would only give it a 4.2 out of 5. Um, and that's just my opinion. Um, opinions matter not. Take no notice of most beer reviewers and their opinions, because some have agendas, some don't like certain types of beer. I'm not mad keen on Belgian. But I'll give you, you'll get what I get, and then you can work your own things out. You know, we all work our own things out. We don't listen to the news and believe everything we're getting. God no. Because the news has their agendas. Yeah. Otherwise we'd all be box ticking people who are um yeah. Who, who, who have no gender these days and no colour. <laughs> That'll be the next thing in the world. What's your, what's your colour? Your ethnicity? No colour. Are you male or female? No sexuality. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, what's that about? <laughs> it's coming. Cheers, all.